Hello there and welcome to episode 3 of How Many Clones Fit. If any of you are wondering where episode 2 is, I made a short on the Bad Batch shuttle just after episode 1. And today we will be looking at the Hogwarts Castle Express, which I do have right in front of me. This is the 2018 version. So I'm going to be very interested to see just how many clones fit because there's so many little tight areas. And especially with the carriage, how many clones we can fit inside. And the first thing we will be doing before we get into the video is cleaning up this model. It's been sat on the shelf for a while now. It's a bit dusty. And of course, removing the other minifigures. And now that the model is clean, let's take a look at our first carriage. I think we'll start off with the main engine. Now, taking a look at the main engine, there isn't too many places we can actually fit our clones. The only place is in here because we could clip some clones to the outside and have them displayed outward. That is not the point of this series. As you saw with the ATT and Bad Batch Show, we're trying to get them inside the build. So let's grab our handful of clones left over from the ATTE and see whereabouts we can position them. So we could probably get two clones in here. And rather than putting them back to back and just trying to squeeze them in, we want it to be displayed to a reasonable standard. So I'm just going to clip one on to the left hand side here we will have to lean them forward because of their helmets but it's like with any other minifigure really that uses a hairpiece and then we'll get our other clone and clip him just to the other side now you could center them with jumper plates but much like the other videos i've done i'm trying to use minimal extra pieces so it does look like they're giving each other a nice little kiss there the bromance is real and we're just gonna Put the top of the train back on and they do fit quite snugly but they fit and that is our engine out of the way and onto the second carriage which is actually this little coal carriage it is what provides the coal for the train it's this little coal wagon here so what you can see is when we flip it over and there is room inside for minifigures i'm not quite sure how many minifigures but you can just pop off this whole plate on the middle here. Hopefully nothing else will come with it. And that will give us a lot more of an insight into what's inside. So we do have quite a bit of room to play around with here. And we will be squeezing as many clones into here as we can. I think we're at least going to be able to get four clones in here, if not a few more. So I'm not quite sure if the height will work it does seem that if we just sit a trooper in the middle here we're not going to be able to get as many clones as we thought but what we can do is sit two back to back lay them down and it's going to be a tight squeeze because of the arms but perhaps because we've got the helmets we can remove this block and get a second one next to them so we are going to be able to get our two clones here it's not going to be an easy fit, but as I said, they do squeeze in and that's good enough for me. So now all we need to do is place this panel right back where it was. And as I said, this clone trooper's helmet should stop this plate falling all the way through. So there's only one way we can test that, and that is by clipping back on the plate. And it does look like it works to a point. It's not perfect, but... That's two clone troopers in. In fact, we haven't even clipped down the plate fully. But now, as you can see, the plate is fully down and we fit the two 212 troopers inside. Now, on to the final carriage where I'm hoping to fit all of the rest of these troopers. Lego have made this pretty easy for us as the side of the carriage completely clips off to reveal the interior. Now, of course, the trolley can be removed, but... I think we're going to want to remove these seats as well just to make more room in the carriage and if I'm right these grey base plates should pop off the entire things. The hardest part about getting clones in the actual carriage is that a lot of it is tiled off and whilst it would probably be in our best interest to try and remove all of these tiles to make the most room of our carriage I think I'm just going to place clones on them and as long as they're not hanging off when we try and clip the wall back on it shouldn't really be too much of a problem so the first thing i'm going to make use of is this doorway here because we've got the doors to the side 
it would mean that we can actually clip some clones right to the end of the hallway and the best thing about the carriage is that the windows allow for them helmets so we can do the same on both sides and you can see there will be an on-screen counter just to save me having to count how many clones but i am keeping track in my head and right next to these clones we can get another pair we should be able to overlap some of the arms so it's going to be a very tight squeeze especially with the helmets against the wall but we're going to be able to fit another two in and i guess we're going to have to go off the back wall for how many we can fit on the tiles but we're nearly halfway through and by the looks this carriage should actually be a mirror image on both sides so if we know we can fit six troopers on this half that means we can also fit six on this half and luckily six was the magic number it's the amount of clones i had left and just before we take a closer look from the top you can see the wall clips back on and we've got plenty of headroom to restore the carriage to how it was before we started pulling it apart so as you can see we weren't able to fit as many in the hogwarts express as the atte so the atte is much superior to bring to a clone wars army than a train but we could get some more carriages for this and if i do decide to upgrade the hogwarts express anytime soon you can fit 12 clones and 12 minifigures for that matter whether they're harry potter whether they're star wars in each carriage of the hogwarts express a total of 16 in the train of course we've got the two stowaways in the carriage here which as you can see they don't have too much space but you can fit two extra minifigures perhaps you have two minifigures you're not necessarily wanting to display out and about and of course you've got the two characters in the front if you want some room i definitely recommend going with one but we're trying to fit the most clones we can and i'm very happy we managed to fit 16 that is all of the rest of my clones that aren't in the atte or elsewhere in the lego room and i think it looks really nice having the figures displayed like this even if you wanted to keep some sort of seats you can definitely get four rows of minifigures and still get the trolley in front so it's interesting that lego went the way they did they wanted to get it more accurate to the scene with the little booths that the hogwarts express has but i'm definitely a bigger fan of displaying as many minifigures as you can so i hope you enjoyed today's video do let me know in the comments what you want to see next time on how many clones will fit drop a like if you are enjoying this series so far and want to see more and subscribe for more awesome lego content may the bricks be with you always